Okay, aside from porting the intake and exhaust ports in what many call as headworks, chamber detail is often overlooked and it is one of the important aspects of blueprinting a motor. Okay, here we have measured the chamber depth of a B16 chamber. As you can see, leftmost, chamber 1 on, on the exhaust side is 0 0.020 deep. Chamber 2 is 0 0.0265, chamber 3 is 0 0.020, and chamber 4 is 0 0.025. Looking at the intake side, it's 0 0.0375 on chamber 1, then 0 0.033, 0 0.035, and 0 0.034. You can get the chamber volume into equal CC and volume tested, but knowing these depths are, are different from one another, makes it certain each chamber will dynamically perform different from one another. This is why a blueprint, blueprinted motor makes more power even stock versus stock. The stock D-series isn't exempted, in fact it's a lot worse. And next we will show you a D16A6 locally ESI head and show you the differences. Here I am taking measurements of the chamber depth of the starting on the intake side and then the exhaust side. You can use a caliper to check but we prefer a dial gauge for better accuracy. And you will be surprised at what we found. Having huge variations between chambers which is not good for power or the gasket. Chamber 1 is 0 0.074 deep. Chamber 2 is 0 0.071 deep. Chamber 3 is 0 0.076 deep. And chamber 4 is 0 0.060. Wow. As you can see, the variations are quite big. And you can see my notepad. These are the notes I have on just chamber detail alone. And it's just one of the many things involved in blueprinting an engine. We also balance the pistons within a tenth of a gram, stretch the rod balls, and we will cover those details on another episode. For now, we go back to the B16 head. Commercial break. These are the finished B16 chambers of the build we did for Jasper. It is no surprise it runs good for the past four years. No trailer and on pump gas, running 12 fives consistently. We got a link up here for you to check his races and projects. We will also have a link in the description below. Okay, back to the discussion. Our machine shop of choice, Edmel, does this for us. It is called Counterbore. They only charge 2,600 pesos for this, where they cut the bore and depth precisely. For our friends in the US, I think this is this they call fly cutting or board cut or fly cut so here are our measurements we will show you on how consistent they've become which leads to a lot more consistent power figures and even efficiency chamber one is 0 0.035 and chamber 2 is also the 0 0.035. Chamber 3 is 0 0.035 once again. And finally, chamber 4 is 0 0.035. That's consistent. Now we are off to finish polishing the chambers, knowing we are on a very accurate and consistent foundation. These aspects of cylinder head development is often overlooked and they wonder why it makes less power or does not run as fast or worst, randomly melts pistons. Just remember, without accuracy, the best parts will not be good enough. Thanks for watching guys.